Alright guys, so we are getting ready to set up our BES Simulation Cup with 8 teams. And this video is about how to set up a custom tournament. Just, you know, as I we're doing videos, I like to share with you how I'm doing things in case, because I'm getting a lot of questions about how do I start a cup, how to start a league, how I do a custom this or that. So this is what I'm going to try to cover here. So. First, you need to pick the type of tournament you want. In this case, I want a cup. Uh, mind that if you do a league that is a seasonal, you know, it goes around the year, meaning, you know, this is not for a bracket tournament, it's just a league. In this case, we want a short tournament with brackets and then knockout. So um, I'm gonna check here. If I was gonna start one, I need to find something that suits my needs because I want to have only eight teams for this first one and uh, you need to pay attention to which tournaments are editable if you want to make it a custom one I mean if you want a UEFA Euro 2020 24 teams suit yourself you know you can just pick it out just the way it is but I want to make a custom logo a custom title etc so um, none of these will work for me. And in fact, some of these guys will restrict the type or the source of uh, which teams you, you, it's gonna be by country. Now this one down here, for some reason, it says the competition regulations can be set freely. So this one seemed to be fully um, customizable. Um, and I wanna make sure I can get teams from all around the world. If I pick any of the other ones, will be restricted to America or Africa or national teams. But in this case, it looks like this might be one that I can fully customize and pick any team around the world and also change any of the other settings. And I'll explain that. So in that case, I am going to move into the edit file. I'm not going to just fire it up here. I want to do some customization first. So I already uploaded my logo, like I've shown in some other videos. If you have questions, we can um, address that through, uh, through the description, you know, the comments. Um, so here are the competitions. And you see this is by club, International Competitions Club. And there's also International Competitions National and others. So down here, I do find this comic ball soda americana but it is fully customizable so which is nine i can change the competition name the emblem etc so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pick this one and create our custom uh, tournament so what i'm talking right here i'm actually typing it just that in the playstation um that you know that exercise of typing is not gonna record on the video but I'm doing it and I'm putting PES simulation cup 2021 and by the way there it is and I'm gonna change the emblem which I already downloaded into a web set um, thumb drive I downloaded it here it was a 256 by 256 um, as I shown in other videos and now we got emblem and a simulation cup title and now let's pick a ball that might be amenable and you can pick any ball that is shown here so i'm gonna just get a generic one that says pes and once i do that i can go back and then launch the uh the cup the tournament i think i'm gonna go with this one why don't we just go with this tripleta and I should be able to find it with the logo and this title. And let's see if, if we can actually modify the number of teams. We got eight subscribers that picked their teams. Uh, we corresponded on Instagram. Uh, you know, you saw that video before where I was announcing the other uh, tournament. So this is, you don't have to play. They selected the teams and I'm gonna simulate them. All right, so we're gonna create the tournament so let's go back here and uh, you can keep dragging going down and we're gonna in the cup new and uh by the way i'm using the playstation 5 which i just i just got it's pretty neat um so there it is 
and we can set the regulations freely. So there is our PES Simulation Cup 2021. So I can change the number of teams. That's pretty cool. I just want to make sure that I can get teams from all around the world. So eight teams and the home and away. That's type one. Type two. I like this one because the final will be a single match and this is all single matches. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with type two. It's home and away and then a single match for the final. And then the tournament format will be a group league. So these are teams divided into group for a round robin. And then they advance into knockout. This is all pure knockout. So I'm going to go into group league, which is what we want to do. And then cards collected. Um, I'm going to try to pick something that is the norm. Something more, I don't think type one applies. Although three match suspension. This is more like it. Yeah, just one match after five cautions. That should be okay. Not a biggie here. Um, we're not going to do any third place playoff. Okay. So we got number of players, it's gonna be eight. I'm gonna set this up for a super, I think that's gonna be superstar. And 10 minutes, that should be okay. And injuries, I'm gonna leave them on just for the, uh, the good luck. And we'll see what happens. All right, so we are getting ready to start selecting teams. Um, these are chosen. I got the list here on paper and I'm going to go one by one. So the first team is by, is, is selected. Hang on a second. All right. R9, Abdi selected Real Madrid. So let's go and pick that one out, out of the Liga Santander. And you know, guys, I corresponded with you all. Uh, Sami Daba got Liverpool, and I'm using names that are not disclosing. Of course, they're anonymous. So I got these names from you guys. So Sami Daba picked out Liverpool. Very good. The third player was Matthew Soccer, and oh, Soccer, <laughs> and he picked Bayern, um, Bayern Munich. And so I'm trying to get that one. Here it is. All right, guys, player number four. That's Andre Juve. And Andre Juve went with Juventus. So nice to get someone picking out out of Serie A. Pretty good mix here. And SA, Sam, it's getting Manchester City. So let's go and pick Manchester City out. Very good, and Mark and Mr. Mark and picked out Barcelona from Liga Santander, of course. Let me go get that one. Okay. And then I got Ramon 1124. Ramon 1124, he picked up Boca Junior. So we got a Latin American team, the famous one, of course, from Argentina. So Liga Profesional de, Bra de Argentina. And there it is. And the final is Dude Manu. Dude Manu got Manchester United. You could have guessed that one, right? Very cool. Um, and we are about ready to do the seeding of the groups. So probably we're just going to two groups. So we are ready to do the seeding, guys. And now you see them all selected there by the subscribers. And now we're gonna say next, and we're gonna put these guys into two groups, very likely, yep. So two groups of four came out and, oh wow. So we've got Liverpool and Real Madrid, Manchester United and Barcelona in one bracket. Manch in group one, we got Bayer, Manchester City, Juventus, and Boca Junior. By the way, you can still move things around, but I will not. I'm just gonna leave it randomly like this because you're gonna complain, guys. You're gonna complain if I if I start moving things. 
because it wasn't random. No, you. But if you are doing your own tournament, you can still move teams around. You just go over the uh, the particular team, for example, here, and you say replace, and then you can move it out to the other side or whatever you want. So I'm just gonna move this back and say okay, and our tournament is all set and the seating is done. All right, so that's a little quick saving there. What else can we do here? Let's review, you know, in this little menu you got on the left, uh, it's nice that we see the logo right on top, Simulation Cup. I don't think the letters came out pretty good. Anyways, now it's telling me that I need two wireless controllers required for multiplayer games, because we said we had eight players, so each team has a player. So we're gonna have to plug in a second Controller, I'm gonna address that at the end of the video because there is an issue that you guys need to know how to resolve that. But for now, you can see that what else can we see from this menu? Under information with that, the competition information, you can see the group stage, the brackets and the standings as you go. So this is group one, zero zeros because we haven't started yet. So that's how the seedings are and on the regulations it will just review what we already selected it's group stage you know how the league standings are selected the knockout phase how that's selected and the yellow cards and red cards of course all right but also under team information um give your details and in case you want to look at the rosters so there are the rosters all right guys so let me go back here and under system, of course, um, we're gonna have uh, the save, auto save. I'm gonna just leave it as save. And the game settings, superstar confirming in 10 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick save here that's not recorded, but it's happening while this screen is dark. Again, that's one of those things that the, the, the video on the PlayStation is now recording. So, okay. So he said there it was saving. Very good. So if we were going to advance and play the first match, you see what happens. Um, and I'm going here to next match and I'm going to have participant settings as well because we're going to be running this and I'm going to explain the issue with controllers. What was the issue here? Is that I only have one plugged and I can hit the the di uh, not diamond, the triangle and make it a, a coach. So I'm not playing the game. It's just all simulated. That's the way you want to see it, right? But we don't have a second controller. And for that reason, it's going to give me an error message, guys. You need to have two controllers plugged in order to run this unless it was only one player and then the rest of the players were played by the CPU. In this case, yeah, they will be played by CPU, but we're setting everything as as coach. Um, the why we wanted a eight people to pick eight teams because we wanted to select exactly the teams we wanted. Otherwise, if it's only one person playing, you select one team and the rest is selected by the CPU as well. But no, this is fully controlled by us, so this is what we're gonna do. So in this case, this is what we get and. If we were trying to proceed, it's telling me that we we cannot do that. It said in order to use this function, you'll need to connect the PlayStation Network and check that there are no restrictions. Uh, they want to have a sub account or an extra account in order to do that. So one or more users with an account for PlayStation that has restrictions, blah, blah, blah. Um, the other thing is that additional such users cannot enter a match um, and it will say that we cannot see some of the media some of the stuff that we have and that is because you see here if I proceed forward you see it says Konami Cup it removes my logo and some of the kits that I put with the option file so what I'm gonna do is to connect I created another user account you know a mimic one and when I come back, now I can assign it there. And this user account can be a coach as well. I'm controlling both controllers. This is just to set it up. And once you do that, you're not going to have any problems. It will show the option files, the uniforms, everything the way it should be. So now if I hit to the next match, everything 
should look all right. So there it is. You see it. Um, the uniforms are, are well. The logo for the tournament is there and it is showing as you should. Okay, guys, let me know if you have any questions and next time we'll be playing the simulation tournament.